Good evening, brothers and sisters. <laughs> In the Garden of Gethsemane, the Lord struggled with his own doubts about his destiny. I approved it this afternoon, after I called Justin with some changes. Now, in the future, we'll be receiving the text a week in advance of airtime so that we can all make revisions. But he wasn't alone. Likewise, we are never alone. In the garden. now that you are not here to listen to the words of other men. You are here for me, so that I am not alone in the garden. This, this is the sound of outrage, outrage at deluded men who would presume with all the arrogance of the papists to tell you, to dictate to you, how you should worship, what you should think. But have pity on these men, because they were not always what they have become. Before these modern day Pharisees became the fat, filthy pawns of a godless merchant regime, they were all righteous and holy men. But what is the devil himself? if not a fallen angel. This is the sound of indignation at men who would betray you, men plotting against you, men trying to tear down what we are building here, turning their backs as the Roman centurions forced their way into our garden, death to the clatter of their spears and their swords. But I am not alone. When Jesus had 12 at his side, I will have 12,000! Shit! And they will know that when they come! And they will come! They will come, brothers and sisters! They will come! In this garden, you will never hear the words of other men. You will only hear the words of one man. One man inspiring you to live and 